Alright, hello creative people. A lot of time you do want to copy something on the web. Maybe not a lot of time, but you see it a lot, especially with documentation on MDN or a thing like that. You have a little button like that and you can click on it and it will copy what is inside the, that square or whatever. It will, it will copy some content. So how can we do that in pure JavaScript and what was the old way of doing that? This is what we are going to see in that video. So don't forget to like and subscribe and show me some love in comments or anything and let's go. So you can take the source code in description. I, I will put it on GitHub. So right there we do have a simple box with some text and a button. As simple as that, all right? So we do need to take the, the btn copy, for example. So btn copy equal document dot query selector and then we just take the copy so we can add an event listener and then we will take the txt copy for example i will show you why so dot box p like that okay so i will just unzoom it or maybe just put it like that yeah it will be better so text copy is just the paragraph inside it and the button is btn copy so what do we need to do right now is add an event listener to btn copy which one the click indeed and inside it it will run an anonymous function that will call navigator dot clipboard which is a navigator a browser api really handy so navigator dot clipboard dot write text and inside it i can write whatever i want to copy Okay, as simple as that. So for example, if I want to copy what is inside my paragraph right there, I can just take take copy dot inner text or maybe text content. All right. And now if I open my console, if I open my console and I will sh just show you if I just control C that I can just um, paste it, paste it right there. Or, okay. And now if I click there, just click, click. And now if I control V, it will just show me that text. Okay, it worked. It's as simple as that. It's the clipboard clipboard API from uh, the, the browser. All right, it's really useful. So before that, before that clipboard API, we do have one old way of doing things. So just to finish with that, you can do really whatever you want. For example, const txt equal hello world. And right there, you can really put whatever you want in that method indeed. So just click and control V, hello world. And you can also test, 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 and then click again and control V. You see that it will just write test, test. Okay, as simple as that. Great, and so what was the old way? You will maybe see it again. So the old way was to use an input and a button. So it was less useful and handy, okay? We were forced to use an input and a button like that, okay? And when we had it, we uh, we just took. So I, I just I just copy and paste it, so we we don't need to uh, write it uh, on your own. So don't don't try to memorize that. It's it's just to show you the whole way. So the whole way was to select the input and the BTN, and then you will write something inside it. So something. And then you take the whole BTN right there and you had a click on it. And when you click on it, it will select what is inside my, uh, my input. And then with the document.exec comment, uh, command, it will copy it. Okay. If I click there and then I control V, it will just work the same, but it's not, it's not handy. It's not easy to use because with the clipboard write text, you can just put whatever you want inside it. And right there, you are always um, forced to use an input and then select and then use exec command. And you see that with VS Code and some extension, I, I don't remember which one, but maybe just with uh, just VS Code or maybe prettier, maybe prettier. It, it shows me that the, the that method is not um, not worse, but is uh, depreciated. It's not good anymore to use exec command. If you go on MGN, so you just put exec command right there, and you put there, you will see that it's obsolete. So in English, it's deprecated, depre deprecated, it's deprecated. <laughs> Sorry for my English. So you don't have to use it anymore, but that was the old way of doing things. Okay, so now the new way is just to use the clipboard API, which is really useful. 
All right, great. I hope I've helped somebody. And this is really useful when you want to create some documentation. For example, I see it a lot when you have some code, for example. Okay, so you you do have some code inside uh, inside uh, th there. For example, you you just have something like function test, for example. Okay, and you do want to copy it by just clicking on it, and it will just work like that. Okay, if you uh, if you just refresh it, and then you just clear the console. Why the console is not querying right there? Okay, so just click and. Uh, it won't work. Oh yeah, because I just put test test right there. So sure, you need to put the what is inside your element. So in your text or text content. All right, much much easier like that. Okay, so you can just uh, paste it right there, and you see that it's working. All right, all right, great. See you next time. Ciao.